Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the loyalty card feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next under the edit, test and go live section click on edit. Now to add the loyalty card feature click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search loyalty card. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the future and you will have options to show hide the future, edit and customize the future, delete the future, and move the future. Now let's check out all what you can do with the newly added loyalty card future. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the future. This is your page or feature name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Here you will see three different sections, card details, card slot, and, and validation section. Now let's check out each section one by one. First is the card details section. Enter a name in this field. Here you can provide your card description or add your card promotional text. Similarly, you can add terms and conditions for your loyalty card here. Let's move to the card slot section now. Select the total number of stamps to include on your card. For example, if you select 9 plus 1 as the number of stamps, then the user needs to buy 9 items in order to receive the 10th item free. The number of stamps you select here will be displayed on the stamp screen on the app. From here you can choose how you want to display the stamps on the loyalty card. You can either show numbers on the stamps or you can show stamp icons. If you display stamp icons then you also have the option to change the icon. Click here to change the stamp icon. You can choose an icon from, from a library or upload your own custom image. From here select the card type, reusable or one time use only. Now enter the final freebie text here, which will be displayed once the user reaches their final freebie. Final freebies are the reward order, offer, and final purchases and are given to the customer when they redeem the last stamp of the loyalty card. For instance, if you have selected 9 plus 1 as the number of stamps, then the final freebie will be given on slot 10 of the loyalty card. Click on the icon here to change the final freebie icon. You can select an image from a library or upload your own custom image. If you want to reward your users after redeem certain stamps, then click tick mark the add mid card freebie checkbox. Mid card freebies are generally given after a certain number of purchases. Now select the stamp lot where you want to offer the mid card freebie and provide the mid card freebie text. If you want, you can change the mid card freebie stamp icon from here. Coming to the validation section, here you will see two validation options via code and via manual check-in for redeeming the loyalty card. Let's check each option one by one. Via code validation is further categorized into single code and unique codes. Let's select the single code validation first. In this field, you can set the unlock code which will be used for validation once the user redeems the loyalty stamps. You can leave the default on unlock code, enter your own code, or click this icon here to generate a new random code. Please note this code will be required when redeeming the loyalty stamps. You can even generate and print the QR code for your specific unlock code. By scanning this QR code, your users will also be able to redeem the stamps. Enable the allow multiple stamps redemptions toggle to redeem more than one stamp at a time by using the single code. Once enabled, then a drop down menu will be displayed on the app while redeeming the stamp, thereby allowing your users to select the number of stamps and validate all of them in one go. Enable this toggle and enter the URL in the required field to redirect your app users to an external URL once they claim the final freebie. Now let's move to the unique codes validation. If you select this option, then a set of unique codes will be generated which can be used only once. You will have a number of unique codes to redeem stamps when only one code will redeem one stamp. 
If your users want to redeem more than one stem, then they need the same number of unique codes to redeem the stamps. Enter the number of codes you want to generate and click on Generate QR Code. The codes will be in the form of text and QR codes. If you want, you can print the QR codes as well. Please note, you can regenerate unique codes after 70% of codes have been redeemed. For free apps, you can generate 100 unique codes only, while in paid apps, you can generate up to 1,000 unique codes at a time. Enable this toggle if you want to redirect your users to an external URL once they claim the final freebie. Now let's go to the manual check-in validation. This allows your app users to redeem loyalty stamps as soon as they enter your defined ge geographical area. Enter the check-in address here and define the radius in meters from your check-in address up to which your users will be able to redeem the stamps. Here you will see two options, manual invoice check and screenshot invoice. If you select the manual invoice check validation option and your users are in the check-in range, they will be able to redeem the stamps by filling in the invoice number. The invoice number can be provided by store owners for the purchase of goods and will be used for validating the stamps. Similarly, if you have selected the screenshots invoice validation option and your users are in the check-in range, they will be able to redeem the stamps by uploading the invoice screenshot or image. An option to upload the invoice will be displayed on the app while validating the stamp. Now let's see the daily limit for user. You can allocate a fixed number of stamps for each user to redeem in a day. From here, you can set a validity date for the loyalty card. To add multiple loyalty cards, click on the Add More button here. Please note you won't be able to change the loyalty card slot and validation settings if you go to another app page or add more loyalty cards. Now let's check out the language settings for the loyalty card feature. Click this icon in the sidebar and you'll be redirected to the language settings icon. From here you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in the loyalty card feature. Let's now change the layout and color scheme of your loyalty card feature. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. Click on the background icon and select an image for the back page backgrounds. If you want, you can select an image from a library, solid color, or upload your own custom background image. Next, select your desired layout from the options. From here, you can set the page elements, color, font size, and indent. You can even hide the borders or display the icon by enabling the respective toggles here. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this feature. Click the in-app setting icon in the sign menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.